Hey guys, we're gonna try today to take this Pittsburgh air operated vacuum pump uh, and make us a pneumatic brake bleeder out of it. So you see the inside of this thing is pretty simple. It's just air blowing through the nozzle out this hole, but it creates the venturi effect over here on this tube where you get your suction. So we're gonna take this tube off here, this cap, modify it uh, with the some kind of a brake bleeder tube and uh, put it in with our manual brake bleeder uh, cup and see if we can make it draw a vacuum on the cup uh, by using our air compressor and this little air vacuum pump. So let's get started. So after drilling a hole in the cap, I'm gonna get one of these vacuum line reducers here. And what I'm going to do is epoxy that in there. It's a pretty good fit. I'm just going to put some epoxy on it to hold it. And that kind of uh, reduces it down for the cap, but it enlarges it just perfect to get my bleeder hose on. So we'll have this apparatus here to, uh, to then tie into our bleeder cup over here. Part the mess. Uh, we will tie this in to the bleeder cup and then we'll be able to take our cap and screw it back on to the air pump over here and you get the idea we'll have uh, we'll power it up with uh, running some air through it have it pull through the venturis and uh, Attach the other end to the bleeder, and there we'll have our really cheap uh, Harbor Freight uh, pneumatic brake bleeder setup. So I hope you get the picture. This end here will go on to the uh, brake bleeder on the wheel. You should be able to pull constant, uh, constant suction uh, into the cup to pull the uh, bleed her out so you can just uh, bleed it by yourself as you sit there and watch um, not tested but i think it's going to work